Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my Sephora play box for the month of, what month of this? November, my birthday month. What am I talking about? I'm slipping. Um, yes, queens are born in November. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into this box. Um, I'm about to get finished packing for my birthday trip. I'm going to Atlanta with one of my Neos and I'm just ready. Um, so if you don't know what the Sephora Play Box is, it is a $10 a month subscription box, which comes out to like $10.80, at least for me. I live in Minnesota, and that's how much I pay per month. Um, you get five, ooh, y'all saw that was close. Y'all get kids, don't use knives to open up stuff. You get five beauty products, and then sometimes you get a six item because that six item would be your, um, what do you call that? Your um, fragrance. So you either get hair, makeup, or skincare, and you also get a 50, um, you get 50 beauty insider points for making a $25 purchase and up, and then you also get a um, guide that tells you the theme, which I guess is merry and bright. And these are the items that are in the box which it looks like it's gonna be some interesting stuff going on in here. So actually I look pretty happy. Yes, this right here. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into this box. Oh, wow. This bag right here, I'm loving this. They've been using this bag for the last three boxes and I'm really happy about it because I use these boxes and I put other stuff in it. So I really like that. These are the items inside. So the first thing we have is this Victor and Roth flower bomb. This stuff right here is so bomb. I love how this smells. Like, if I need to buy another full-size um, perfume, it will be this. Um, the only full-size perfume I have right now is the Mon And it's just bomb. And I like this because it has, like, a light, airy fragrance to it. But it smells really, really sexy, so you can wear it year-round. So, yes, I'm really happy about having more than one sample of this around to take with me when i travel like tomorrow um the next thing we have is the coconut micellar makeup melter okay now this is new right here it says it dissolves all makeup even long wear okay so let's see what it looks like they probably have a seal on this because they oh they don't have a seal cool but oh it's clear well clear ish um it feels real thin um i don't feel any granules or anything in it it don't smell like coconut so i'm not for sure what that's about but i'm all for having a new makeup melter um i don't know if you've seen my other videos i've done reviews on a few makeup melters and i'd like to see how this one compares to the urban decay which i'm really yeah i'm gonna attach the video the next thing we have is this clinique pep start and this is eye cream. Um, I actually like this. I have a few samples of these and I use this every now and then. Um, it's supposed to like brighten your under eye. Why did I come out? So it's a nice little cream. It has like a light airy smell to it. So it dissolves right away. And it's basically used for that just to give you that extra oomph underneath your eye. And I think that's why they chose an orange bottle to show that it's just like waking up your eyes. So this, I do recommend this. Now this right here, I haven't even heard of this brand before. This is the Christoph Robin. And it's the cleansing volumizing paste with pure Razula clay and rose extracts. Okay, this is new. Um, this 85% of natural original formula brings immediate volume and thickness to fine hair without weighing it down. Apply on wet hair, massage into the scalp, emulsify, then rinse. Apply the volumizer conditioner with rose extracts on lips. If needed, hair is left with incredible, oh, if needed, hair is left with incredible volume and body at the roots. Okay, so, okay, that's what it looks like. Oh, um, hmm. It doesn't smell bad or anything. Okay. Um, it feels a little bit tacky. And so I guess it needs to be a little bit tacky so it can attach to your hair. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this, but you know what? I might try it. Those of you who've been on my channel, you know that I'm natural. So we'll just see how this works out on my natural 4C hair. The next item I have is from Makeup Forever, and it is the Ultra HD um, powder. Yeah, that's what it says, Ultra HD. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm struggling to get this box open and it shouldn't. I believe I have a sample of this already. I haven't used a lot of it, but this right here is a really nice amount of sample product. Um, it has a little thing. I'm not even gonna open it, but yes, this is a um, clear, y'all, y'all see I'm struggling. This is a clear powder and basically you can use it as a setting powder or a finishing powder. Um, I've used it as a setting powder before and it left like a semi white cast on my face. So I don't know if I'm gonna be using it again. I will say it does put my keep my makeup in place, but maybe this is a different formula. I don't know and I can try it out and see if it works better, but yeah, this would just be chilling until I have a day that I don't have to, you know, worry about my makeup. The last item, yes, it's a cream lip stain. It is not red. Sephora, red is dead. Don't, dang it, okay. I'm on a struggle bus, Jesus. Yes, 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 pink tea. So I'm really, really happy that they gave me a color other than red. I love nudes. And as you can see, Sephora has increased their color range. They have 90. It starts at $14 in the U.S. And it's 18 if it's Canadian dollars. Um, yeah, I really, really need to see. I mean, it's a really, really small sample. But you know what? If it's good enough, I'll go and buy the actual full size. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. So this might look like a mauve pinkish nudish color on me and it's so funny because if you look at it in the package it doesn't look exactly how it looks on my hand but I thought this was going to be a nude nude but as you can tell when it's on the skin it does have a different look so again just like on the lady's lip in the picture it looks like it's a nudish brownish pinkish undertone but on my hand it looks like a pinky type color so yeah, I'm really excited. These are really, really good. They last long. Sometimes they crud up in the side of your lips. Sometimes um, it's just been like the polish purple has done it to me and a other purple color. But outside of that, these are the best formula that I've used for liquid lipsticks. All right, I'm gonna say bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit me up with a subscription. Hit that. Um, bell so you can get notified whenever your girl drops a new video and i just appreciate you guys being there so until next time i'll see you guys later drop any questions below and we're out